Right now, the world is going towards the atmosphere of the start of World War III. We can know this as we look at the countries who have had conflict with each other, with a spark of fire for war for a long time, prepare their weapons more than any other time. The countries in opposition with having the spark of fire for war are China and Taiwan, India and China, South Korea and North Korea, and the Middle East and Israel, etc. These countries have the circumstances of a war happening at any time, and also if a war does occur, they have the background connected to nuclear weapons that can spread into a World War III. Amongst them, the Middle East and Israel are the most likely countries. Behind the Middle East is Russia, who retains the nuclear weapons, and Israel itself has nuclear weapons, but behind it is the U.S. If these two powerful countries who retain nuclear weapons help in the war, then the countries and alliance that surround them will also unite, and it can only expand into a World War III. Because of this, the World War III to come is a nuclear war. Up to this time, nuclear weapons were restrained from powerful countries. It is because if they are used, mankind will be destroyed. That is why, up until now, they have fought with conventional weapons and have maintained the level of negotiating with each other, but because of World War III is spread by the fight between countries who have retained nuclear weapons, a nuclear war occurs. This nuclear war is the trumpet disasters prophesied in the Bible. The reason why the trumpet disasters are seen as the nuclear war is because the scenes that are being described are the destruction of mankind by nuclear weapons. Unless it is nuclear weapons, the whole earth and one-third of people cannot be destroyed like that at once. Therefore, the trumpet disasters are a nuclear war, and we can say that it is World War III. If that's so, what we can know from here is that because World War III as a trumpet disaster is inside God's judgment, it is an incident that will occur after the rapture has happened. A nuclear war brings a completely different result than a war that is fought with conventional weapons. Even before the rapture, we may see the war caused by countries that have sparks of fire. However, even if they shoot missiles and make the surroundings into complete devastation, because it is a fight of conventional weapons, it cannot destroy one-third of the whole world instantaneously. Right now, we actually see the conflict between Israel and the Middle East, but is this conflict swallowing one-third of the earth? It is not. It is because it is not a nuclear war. The conflict between them will get worse, but even so, it will not spread to a nuclear war before the rapture. The Lord's brides will not enter into God's judgment of the seven-year Great Tribulation. Because of this, they will not see the nuclear war that occurs from the trumpet disaster. In other words, they cannot experience World War III. The two biblical reasons pertaining to this are as follows. First, it is because Jesus said that the circumstances of when he returns will be like the time of Noah and like the time of Lot. Luke 17, 26 through 30. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. When we reflect on the scripture, the people of that time were eating and drinking, married and were given in marriage, buying and selling, planting, building, and absorbed in worldly pleasures until destruction. This kind of environment is a complete contrast with the atmosphere of a World War III. Furthermore, it is written that they did not realize that they would be destroyed until the flood came and fire fell from heaven. Only Noah's family and Lot's family knew. It is the same today as well. Besides the Lord's brides who will be caught up in the air, people will not know that the world will be destroyed until the Great Tribulation happens. People will one day suddenly lose everything as if they've been robbed, and only then will they realize that destruction has come upon them. This destruction that suddenly takes away everything, like a thief, will come upon all people who are asleep at the same time the rapture happens. If the rapture is an event that happens in the middle of World War III, what person will not wake up? And how much would someone be able to eat and drink, buy and sell, build homes, and be absorbed into worldly pleasures in the midst of such a nuclear war? The environment of a World War III cannot make a person fall asleep spiritually. Because it will be an atmosphere of peace and safety, they are able to fall deeply asleep. That is why the rapture will never happen in the midst of a nuclear war. Jesus himself exactly spoke about this through the example of the time of Noah and Lot, which are the circumstances right before the destruction of the world. Then, we must believe the Lord's words. Second, the Bible says that there will be labor pains in the coming of the Lord. If that's so, what is the intensity of the labor pains? Will it be the level of a nuclear war? It will not. 
A nuclear war is at the level of judgment. It is not the level of labor pains when giving birth to a child. When giving birth to a child, no matter how severe the pain is, it is not at the intensity of a nuclear weapon exploding. Until the rapture, the Lord's brides will experience and see only the contractions like that of labor pains and the happenings congruent with that intensity. And, when the contractions of this labor reach the climax, just like when giving birth to a child, we also will be raptured when labor pains come upon the whole world and reach their peak. These two reasons are biblical evidence to support the rapture happening before World War III. Right now, all the signs of the world are letting us know that the coming of the Lord in the air is very imminent. Also, in order to go into God's judgment of the seven-year Great Tribulation, World War III has been prepared and various disasters and the labor pains through the pandemic are becoming increasingly stronger. Soon, the conflict in the Middle East will become more and more serious and the intensity of the labor contractions also will soon reach its climax. Nevertheless, it is still a time of peace and safety and we are in the same state as the time of Noah and Lot. We will be raptured in the midst of experiencing and seeing these circumstances occur simultaneously. And after the rapture, soon World War III will bring down the curtain on the civilization of mankind. It is not long until that day. Jesus told us to be always on the watch and pray that we may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that we may be able to stand before the Son of Man. This means that those who are awake can escape the Great Tribulation. Therefore, we must look at God's clock of Israel's movements and the state of affairs in the Middle East, and also watch carefully the intensity of the labor pains and realize that the Lord's coming is very near, and focus on preparing for the rapture. So, I pray that not even one soul will be left in God's judgment of the Great Tribulation and experience World War III. The Lord is coming soon.